Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. <laughs> my name's Angela, I'm the crazy poppy lady and welcome back to today's episode of a Throwback Friday. This is number 71. So uh, welcome to today's video. Thank you for joining me and thank you for watching. Do us a favour, hit that thumbs up so that others can have a bit of a giggle at what I've put in today's video. Right, so for my old subscribers, uh, welcome back. And for the newbies, this is a series of videos where you get a sneak peek back in time at videos that I put out within uh, one week within a certain month year. Now these videos I am showing you today are from August 2021. Um, what are we on? The From the 22nd onwards for that week. Oh brain is not in gear yet again. <laughs> Let's see how this goes today. Right so the very first video I put up is a whips bits and chat. Now I will be a cropping into this one and cutting bits out that are boring or not relevant anymore. Just the same as I will be doing with other videos within today's video. If you want to see the full episode or um, of any of the videos mentioned today, uh, they will be available for you as a quick link up in that i button. So let's go and see what I was chatting about on whips bits and chat. 71. But of course, as I said, Penguin is and now up along with a Max Koala and of course our unicorn. So go and have a nose because I may have added more by the time this video comes out. There's now over 25 different types of patterns on the Ravelry shop from corner to corner, pillowcase covers or cushion covers, clothing, there's lots. Go and have a nose, there will be a link on the end screen. <laughs> I'm running out of room. Now that leads me into our next section, which is your photos. So Friday morning, I woke up to a photograph um, from our gorgeous Mrs. Bradshaw. I'm sorry, honey, you know I call you, call you that because I'm rubbish with saying your first name. Right, so she sent me a picture of her part work of Max. Now she is, she's a smidgen, or at least she was on Friday, a smidgen away from completing a video number two, which means she's soon to get rid of that annoying brown. <laughs> Any of you that are making it will understand what I mean. It's a celebratory moment when you get to cut off that brown um, and just start working on the grey because of course video number three is a lot, lot easier. There is a more bulk colours in the row as you're going along so it does actually speed up really really nicely so now i'm going to show you the photograph that she sent over to me i'm also loving that shade of brown please tell me what color it is <laughs> if you can remember that is i'm absolutely loving how you're doing how you're getting on with that babe um now, for any of you that don't know, she's actually done video one twice <laughs> because um, she had an issue when it came to the end because, of course, it was a wrong way around when I recorded the video. But due to time differences and things like that, my email didn't get to her before she stripped it all back. So she had to start all over again. And I'm so, so super chuffed and really proud of you for sticking it out and carrying on and getting to the end of video number two. I can't wait to see your picture at the end of video three. <laughs> and once she's finished, I will add the 
finished photo in along with any of the details on yarn and hook size and that she sends over to me i got another picture i got another one this week right, this one came in on thursday and i'm gonna go like this Whoop. because because it was a, a penguin but this penguin is a little different i'll let you have a look and then i will tell you all about it Now I've done my normal uh, with this image. I don't open the images until I'm ready to record. So I'm bringing it up now so I can have a nose. There we go. Right, so tell Ben, or tell as I like to call you, because I'm cheeky and I never get your name quite right. I am absolutely loving it. The fact is you've changed up the colours for your option A and your option B. Shades of green, not received a green one before. You're the very first green penguin. And you've also added in the green for the candy cane border, which I think really, really works and definitely, definitely pulls it in and just completes the blanket. I am loving it. Your stitch work is so, so neat, honey. <laughs> Can you send me some lessons and some tips? <laughs> right, so a quick little side note with any of um, my pattern tutorials, always check that drop down box as because if there is any issues with the pattern or the what I've said is wrong and I haven't picked it up during editing or even if I have now, I will um, put any corrections in the drop down box so of course if you're making it and you're having and you're struggling and you think you've gone wrong but you've tried it a couple of times and you realize it's me find me off an email um or put a comment into the drop um into the comment section i will not get upset if anything you are really really helping me out so then i will help you through the problem that you're having and put that in the drop down box so the next crazy that gets on with the pan won't have the same issues as you because i'll have checked that box now won't you now it's time for completed whips that's right i've done one i've finished it now i did show some of you in the lives um on tuesday night wednesday morning but here it is here is a top for my sister um on my adopted big sister and um this has got no pattern okay and this was not my pattern initially it was a lady on facebook who had put a picture of hers up and she had made it with a really cute thin cotton and um i'd asked if i could copy the pattern so she gave me the pattern repeat details and said run with it have fun and so i did and but i changed it up of course i used a dk yarn <laughs> and um what was it a four millimeter hook so it has come out quite large um which is what i wanted because um my big sis i wanted something light breezy that she could either have loose have open or tighten up depending on what her mood was in what mood she was in right so how did i form this pattern i started off get your notepad ready gang get your notepad ready right i started off with a, a double crochet a foundation chain okay and I did that in multiples of two for the length that I need for the width that I needed okay I started from the bottom and worked my way up and over and back down okay so I repeated my pattern this section here and I worked the pattern up until I got to where the pattern would sit under the breastbone or under the boobies <laughs> okay then I ran the pattern up to the shoulder at the shoulder point I did two solid rows of a double crochet on the third row I got to where the shoulders were and I put a chain in okay so that gave me my gap in and then I carried on the row by joining the chain and carrying on till the end so I chained one chain per stitch I skipped okay then on the return leg I went into the tops of my double crochet and then I worked into the chain twice I did this and twice I mucked it up. The third time I just gave up <laughs> because my stitch count had increased by two. So I carried on going and thought, oh well, who cares? <laughs> it doesn't matter, which in this big scheme of things, it didn't really matter having those two extra stitches around the neck. It made the neck hole a little bit open. 
and it means that one of the panels is a smidgen bigger so if my sister needs a more room to cover the girls and she can or if she's like me and she needs to cover the booty she can wing it round and have that larger panel on the back and nobody's going to know because there's only a small little two stitches out <laughs> or two stitch increase as it say so shh don't be letting on my secret right so of course once I go past the collar I then reversed the pattern and repeat and did the repeats all the way down so it starts with the large section of green and then works into my stripe and then carries on working down so here's your cheeky tip the stitches you're going to need are for these sections here it is a double crochet a chain one skip one pattern repeat all the way along the row and then my purple rows are just double crochet that is it that is how simple it is okay the uh, pattern break the break here is a five rows of the first lot of stitches i mentioned okay and this one here is however many you're going to need to go from the booby up but you are going to have to sit there and do a little bit of math because by the time i'd finished this it now comes to a knees <laughs> so bonus a definite cover-up knee that she wanted maybe not quite as long as this but you never know um she says she loves it and she's happy with it and i'm happy that i've um shifted a couple of more balls of um yarn out of my stash from under the table because the yarn i used was the audi dk and of course i'm not going to be really planning to use that in any tutorials from this point on so i'm just using up the colors and making random <laughs> items which of course my gorgeous friends are um stitching me up with and going and can you make this and can you make that which i absolutely love because it gives me something to show you girls um at a later point now another thing i forgot to mention was i hate sewing as you guys know so we discussed it and she decided that she didn't want the sides sewn although from a distance they do look a little bit sewn together they're not what i've done is i've attached a ribbon underneath the arm and i've weaved it backwards and forwards okay all the way down the length and it ends with a little bow near the bottom now when it goes to bestie that ribbon's getting removed because bestie has already chosen um the the material that she wants to run down the side um to hold the sides in so i'll be taking that out and she can fix it and <laughs> she can put it back together again right so here you go here is your little look closer so uh, this section here of course is the uh, double crochet chain one skip one and that's all the way along and there is a just two rows of double crochet okay here is oh crikey the side section hopefully you can pick that up i used black because it was the only ribbon i had and i hoped it was would um stand out against the purple there we go and of course the border section at the bottom i forgot to mention that completely didn't i oh now i've got to count it up and work out what it was and for the border i went all the way around with a one round of um, double crochet following it up with a row of single crochet and as if by magic it's back up on there again because that thing weighs a ton it's not the top that does honey it is that it is dory i think she's put on some weight Aha. so i finally finished a videoing and recording all the sections i needed for the whips and bits that had the christmas stuff into it so i can now show you a bit more of the yarn yes i'm gonna have to move max over a bit so you guys can see all of the colors there but what i've done but what i did do is put max over the majority of the bright yarn because it is blowing out my cameras it's that bright but i tell you what i am loving looking at this now and um sort of seeing what colors i've got to go with or what patterns and of course soon there'll be a new one up but you've still got max video number four to get through so i've got a week or so to play with haven't i please say yes <laughs> right so i'm recording this bit now and keeping everything crossed that i can put this section into this week's video if not you're going to notice i'm wearing the same outfit as I did 
either last week or the week before or the week before that <laughs> in the whips bits and chat because I will I'm making it once and I'm gonna stick it in whichever video I'm allowed <laughs> right okay so as I said to you a few weeks ago I was making a new stuffy and I'd actually completed it now this was a, a test for for our gorgeous YOH crochet so of course you guys know this is my second pattern test for her the very first one I will sneakily bring him down was of course a Miko's Yeti okay now I thoroughly enjoyed working that pattern so when she said I'm looking for another pattern tester I said oh shout me the pattern over girl I'll get to it and I have now there is a little story behind this one I got in at the beginning and of course I am testing the pattern so I'm reading through the pattern and working my way through it and I'm doing that as if I'm a new crocheter okay so I have to second guess every bit of that pattern and so as I'm working it through I come across a section that just didn't read right but I did it anyway just on the off chance that um, it was me being a bit doolally and not the pattern well I did it three times because I was only working on one of his arms and it just didn't work so I stepped back and I looked at it and as somebody that's made one of YOH's patterns before so I looked at it and I'm like oh the dopey girl she's right so the first typo I spotted was for the hands and feet it was quite a simple one she'd put increase instead of decrease <laughs> nothing major nothing worrying but she did blame the dog for typing it up wrong <laughs> she sounds as bad as me <laughs> she is right so once that bit was done I then moved on to working the body and the head so no sorry I started the head so I did the head I finished the head and that bit was lovely and easy then I moved on to the body well what I didn't do was read the pattern properly because of course not all new crochets do that that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it now I was just downright lazy and didn't bother reading the pattern notes <laughs> right so I've made the body out I actually added the arms as I went I did ask if I could, could use that technique and why YOH said that is perfectly fine because she knows I hate sewing so I'd added the arms as I went and I wrote the, um, some notes out for her in case she wanted to add that in and I've got to the bottom of the body and I've stuffed the body and I've realised I've not got enough rows and so I've added a couple of decreased rows in I thought okay it's possibly a, another um, mistake on the pattern because of course it is only her first or second draft no it was a mistake on my part <laughs> I made it upside down because I hadn't read the pattern notes so um, with this pattern you make up the body but then you attach the open end to the head it gives it a bit more stability whereas with me I didn't do that <laughs> of course I made it closed it had two bits and squidged it all together so um, I must admit I did giggle away but by this point um, oh I wait you're finally coming from work and I'd finished it and I've sent her pictures and she said it looks lovely and then I've told her about the pattern, pattern issue and she told me I'd done it upside down <laughs> to be honest he still looks absolutely and utterly gorgeous so I am bringing him in now so this is Jojo and Jojo it's a bumblebee how cute look with his little wob wibbly wobbly legs and his cheeky wibbly wobbly arms where you only stuff the end you don't need to stuff this bit which is why it makes it easy to attach it in the round okay with his cheeky little antlers all right um and he's i love the face details on this she's made it ever so easy to give some real definition to his face just with the, the little extra bits of um, white added into the eye and then when I sewed the eyes on what I did actually do was I sewed them on properly first and then I squidged and once I'd squidged I then sewed some black yarn through one eye and out the other and then backwards and forwards a few times to pull it in so that it keeps the shape other than that 
the pattern oh and the fact that the body's upside down other than that <laughs> the pattern's exactly the same as hers so if you would like to grab your copy of this pattern the links to her shop will be in the description box and down below i'm sure you are going to have so much fun and making your very own jojo and definitely won't make as many mistakes as me but as i said i was pattern testing oh and the extra special bit look at a cute butt <laughs> Now I don't know what it is about all YOH's patterns, but they are all naff poses when you get them in front of the camera. Now another video that was released this week was from Max the Koala, which is a C to C a blankie. It was video number four with a rose number 60 through to 87. I'm just going to pop a link directly up to the first video in that set so that you can possibly follow along if you would prefer to have a, a written pattern that is also available on my Ravelry a link is up here <laughs> I'm getting good with these links aren't I the next video that came out was a hashtag a fun question tag tag your it video now please remember these are quite old ones um it's done the rounds but you never know you might enjoy it if you are a new channel creator you might want to jump on and, and nab these questions for yourself just please remember to add the information about where you got the tag questions from as in me and who created them as in the person who's in the description box of this next video I will cut into it quite a bit I'll just give you a taster of some of the questions you know where the link is this tag questions is called funny questions tag now I was tagged by Natalie in Natalie's closet. Cheeky monkey's getting me back, isn't she? <laughs> right. So I'm gonna whiz through them and see how we go. I have not read them. Not read it, haven't watched her video yet. Once I've recorded this one, I will then go back and watch it. Um so of course the last that had tagged Natalie is sorry, I'm just trying to not read them, but still try and find the lassie's name. Um Steph Stitch stitched is the name of the channel i've not come across it before so i'll be going and having a nose at that as well later right and thankfully she wrote the questions in her comment section so i can read them directly from there right so let's get on with number one wish me luck wish me luck because i'm gonna need it all right so question number one is if i lived in a world of the latest tv show you watched where would you be living well that stitched me up straight off the bat um no i didn't get to watch neighbors home and away or any of them gorgeous aussie programs last night i didn't watch anything cheeky from america not even friends no what did i stupidly watch last night before reading these questions Downton abbey <laughs> that's it i'm stuck in the uk <laughs> oh well all right have i ever been arrested no no i used to work in care and to me my job was more important than being naughty so if anything i'm the opposite i'm too much of a, a good girl most of the time or at least i was back then but no i've never been arrested right what do i wish my phone could do well of course you got the standard one which is a phone granddad who's uh, no longer with me um or nan or gran or any of the oldies that have already passed on but what what do i wish my phone could do send waves into my brain and fix it <laughs> make a change wouldn't it <laughs> okay and number four is would i like to work on a move work in a movie and if so what kind um for me it would have to be an animated so you don't have to see my face but of course because i'd be hiding behind a screen when i'm doing the voices i would be overly animated anyway so i'm doing quite well to pretty much sit on my hands here today <laughs> um yeah so i would like to work with an animated um movie um or even a um what are they called what are they called the plasticine ones so uh, let me think what's next 
What's the most annoying habits that someone has that bothers you? When they click the bones in their fingers. That's it. Clicking bones on fingers. It's just like, why do it? Why? <laughs> there is five more of them questions for you to have a nose at. And the last video or nearly last video that I put out that week was a happy mail. It was an inside a crochet Instagram winning video. Now, it was for a book. This one. So click the video <laughs> link up there to see the full book. But otherwise, as I said, I will show you a little bit of it now. And in a moment, I'll tell you whether I managed to create anything out of it and what I thought of it. And is it on my shelf just to look pretty? Or is it on my shelf because there's more to make? Right, so today is a happy mail day. So I had my parcel arrive this morning. Here it is. This is parcel number one of three that, I've, that I'm waiting on. Now this one is actually my winnings are from Instagram. That's right, I won something. Yay! <laughs> right, um, so a little bit of um, information on this. Well, I sometimes I get tagged in um, competitions on Instagram by other fellow creators and other channel crazies that follow me and I follow them and things like that. And um, and this one popped up a couple of weeks back and it was for Inside Crochet. Now on their page they had um, a competition where you could win one of the books that they had featured recently in this publication which of course you guys have seen on the channel. I popped it on last week in amongst all them other videos okay and let me just scoot through and find the image that i'm determined absolutely determined to make because of course i was sitting watching loki and when i flicked through this book i really should have sorted this out earlier there we go um, and when i flick through i spotted and uh, this pattern here Look at that, really cute. Okay, and um, I was like, right, I'm definitely going to make it. Well, the designer is Erina, Arena, E R I N N A. I'm sorry, honey, I am rubbish with names. Um, long shot that you're watching this moment. Um, but it's Arena Lee. I will jot her name here, and if I can find any information on this designer, I will also pop that in the uh, drop down box and any links to her I will pop up here as well as to Inside Crochet. So of course this package has arrived and look who's got a book in it! <laughs> Sorry I am slightly excited here. So, oh my word it is so so cute. Okay let me show you the front cover. Look at that. Look at those little critters on there. I shouldn't really call them critters, should I? Right, so I'm going to sneakily read the back cover. Right, so it reads, this is her second book. Um, there is 15 of fabulous Arigurumis outfitted with the most acute accessories. Um, Bonnie the Teddy has a passion for costume making and fancy dress. Darcy the Dragon is learning to fly. And a big blow, a big... <laughs> And blow big fireballs. Hattie the mouse and loves her online shopping. And <laughs> Detective Benedict, you wait till you see this. There is a picture of Benedict on the back. He is so cute. I think he is going to be number one for me to make. Right, so as I said earlier on before I showed you that little clip. Um, did I make anything from this video? As you can see, I keep going to reach. So uh, let me show you. Now this one here was the uh, first one I made and this was made with a boho hold on uh, there we go let's just grab one of them with the signet boho spirit um it's this colorway is actually what's on his ruffles and a different colorway is on his body now he was the very first one I made I call him a he although in the book it's not where are you up the back in it You've probably already seen this where I fast forwarded. Okay, so in the book, it's called a Millie the Frilled Necked Lizard. As I call him George, the chameleon. <laughs> Based on the singer. And then the second one. And now this one, 
I was desperate to make using the yarns that they stated in the book, but once I priced up how much it was going to cost me to make one, I decided that wasn't <laughs> wasn't viable for me personally. So I used a, a different yarn, which was the oh, it was a signet. It was a signet cotton. Okay, and I made get the right picture up. It's nearly there. Where are you? <laughs> I saved it. I am at Benedict the Shrew. So that's what he looked like in the book. And this is what my one looks like. Now he hasn't got a monocle yet. I have bought a set of glasses to clip down and cut into a monocle. I just haven't got round to it. I still like him. I think he's so, so cute. And of course, I sewed his head on wonky because that's me. I sew everything on wonky. <laughs> I am quite wonky. So his head's on wonky and I think that gives him a little bit more personality when he's sitting on my bookshelf lording it over on me. So where, is this one staying on my bookshelf? Of course it is. I absolutely love it. And there are a couple of other patterns in here that one day I will get round to making. But you'll just have to keep an eye out to see. Now if you want to see this entire book, if I can, I will have the link up there. If not, there will be a link to this book um book review um in the description box down below right so that's it for, for today's video i hope you've enjoyed having a look back at some videos from 2021 i'm gonna head off now i will see you all really really soon so please remember to stay chilled stay happy and keep crafting goodbye everybody